Hi, everybody. I'm Mike Peters. Welcome once again to Sports Map. Got a terrific show for you. Hope you enjoyed our opening sequences there. We have uh, two very special top performers. We'd like to show you one of those right after this word for another top performer. It's official. Nissan's choice once again for the prestigious award of merit for outstanding dealer performance is Merced Nissan. That's right. Merced Nissan, number one in sales and service, number one in parts and customer satisfaction. For over 18 years, Merced Nissan committed to hot deals on the hottest wheels, all backed by a tradition of service excellence. When buying your next car or truck, think style, performance, dependability, and dealer reliability. Think Nissan, Merced Nissan. Hi. Every year at this time, I come to Young's to check the Easter baskets they make for me. I check that each basket looks good, contains top quality Madeline chocolates, and fun toys. Young's will even craft custom baskets for you. Or, if you prefer to make them yourself, you'll find all the goodies at Young's. Come in and register for Young's giant Easter basket giveaway. Now, I know some people don't believe in the Easter Bunny. Now, what do you believe? Ray's Alignment Shop in downtown Merced is your complete auto repair center. Besides alignment work, Ray's specialty, they also handle tune-ups, carburetor work, engine overhauls, rear differential work, balancing, tire truing, and suspension work. If you'd like to line up an appointment with Ray's Alignment Shop, just call 723-3044. Ray's Alignment Shop is easy to find at 937 West 16th Street in downtown Merced. Ray's Alignment Shop for complete auto repair. What are they doing now? Trying on the Ray-Bans. Man, they look so fine in those shades. Now they're trying on the Barnays. I wish I had some Nays. Oh, wow, these are awesome. Do it right. Do it at Maravision. Bill Goldfuss and I are standing in front of this 1988 Nissan 4x4 for this top performer certificate that we're going to give to him. He did real well in the Senior 35 group uh, last week at the Merced Criterium as well as the Snelling Road Race. Snelling Road Race was an 11.7 mile circuit uh, that they rode several times. Bill took a first place in that. Bill, what was, what was on your mind as you headed around that grueling course? Just being able to uh, save enough energy for the last mile and a half, two miles of uh, 31, 32 mile an hour pace, and I had enough energy. Well, um, in the Merced Criterium on Sunday, you also took a top spot there, but you were dicing it out for the lead. What was running through your mind? Well, I knew I had the two-time national champion in second place right behind me, so I just put out a little extra effort and kept my head down and took the race. <laughs> All right, you did a good job. Where are you going from here? Uh, next weekend is uh, Sand Creek and Sanger. All right, good luck to you there. On behalf of Merced Nissan, I'd like to present you with this uh, Merced Nissan Sports Map Certificate of Top Performance and continue up the good work. Thank you. All right, you bet. Lisa Morasti is one of our field reporters at Merced High School, but she's not the only one in her family who has athletic interests. We take a look this week at the Norm Morasti family. After a hard day at work, some folks like to head home, read the newspaper, watch TV, maybe have a little supper. Norm Morasti locks up the door to his local business, heads down the alley to his car, jumps in and heads out to another alley. Norm recently bowled a 300 game, but it took a lot of hard work to get there. We asked him about his beginnings in bowling. Oh gosh, it was a long time ago. 1956 or 57, I used to work for my father in a clothing store on 17th Street. And uh, every day after school, I would, I would walk down Main Street. And right where the, the uh, trophy place is, is used to be a bowling alley. And uh, you, you could bowl a game for uh, 20 cents. So whenever I had 20 cents in my pocket, I would stop in and uh, bowl one game. And, and uh, I was just like any other kid with the ball, knocking down sticks. I, I had fun with it. And um, the 
other bowling alley in town at the time was an old bowling alley, Continental Bowl. That's right next to Hotel Tioga. Uh, 1961 or 1962, Century Bowl opened up, and it was a, a, a great new thing in town. And uh, I started bowling and bowling competitively, and then uh, been here ever since. Well, now that you're here, you bowled a terrific 300 game just a few weeks ago. You won a car from that. Tell us about how you feel about that game. I just feel very, very fortunate, lucky. Uh, I uh, really treasure the, the 300. Uh, that's what most bowlers bowl for, to, to uh, get a sanctioned 300 game. Uh, it, it's an honor score. Uh, ABC or, or the American Bowling Congress uh, awards you a ring and um, uh, actually uh, national prominence. You know, you go in the record books as bowling a 300, and I'm very, very proud of it, and I'm happy, and uh, I was lucky. I admit it, I was very, very lucky. You don't think there's any skill involved there at all? Well, there's a certain amount of skill, uh, uh, granted that. Um, but still, I've, I've thrown balls in the pocket and they haven't carried. I just uh, happened to throw 12 in the pocket and they did carry. <laughs> well, how about bowling overall? I mean, how do you feel about it? What are some of the things that keep you coming out here? Well, one of the things that keeps me coming out here is that quest for a high game, a high series, and uh, I'm still trying to uh, attain a uh, level of excellence in my game and to stay competitive. I bowl uh, a few tournaments, not, uh, not like I used to, but uh, I still feel I'm a, a very capable bowler, and I'm still learning. And uh, I can um, bowl into my uh, 50s, 60s, and I even know some 70-year-olds uh, that are bowling. Norm's wife, Linda, enjoys bowling, but her big game is tennis. It was in high school in my freshman year, and then I went on and played on the tennis team through school. And you also bowled some. Tell us about that. Yes, I bowled for about seven years, and uh, I held the high game for Merced Atwater um, League for ten years. Well, what is it that you like best about tennis? Oh, I just love being outdoors, and uh, I've just always loved the game. GMC Honda, we appreciate the quality of life here in the Valley and want to share it with our friends. Every one of us at Valley supports youth sports knowing how well it develops not only good sportsmanship, but a true character to carry through to our children. And that's why we're happy to give a little more and take a little less at Valley, Pontiac, GMC, Honda, Mercedes, and Fresno Acura. Happy Steak satisfies. For lunch or dinner, Happy Steak has people-pleasing entrees and a salad bar that is out of this world. Happy Steak has a big banquet room for business meetings or just plain fun. Why do people keep coming back time after time to Happy Steak? All you can eat shrimp with soup and salad, just $9.95. Happy Steak in the College Green Shopping Center. For auto, truck, and tractor radiator service, look no further than Bob's Radiator Service in Merced. Bob's Radiator has been serving the people of Merced County for a long time, offering repair work, rotting, and recoring of radiators. You can count on your radiator being cleaned properly with reverse power flushing. Heater and gas tanks are also repaired at Bob's Radiator. Stop by soon and get your radiator in shape for the hot summer months. Bob's is open Monday through Fridays from 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. Bob's Radiator at 333 West 16th between J and K Streets, downtown Merced. You'll never take me alive. Flowers for Mr. Rocky from Tioga Flores. Got you now, Rocky. Wrap. Foilage again. When all else fails, send flowers from Tioga Flores. 
The oldest son, Rod Morasty, plays several different sports. We asked him what those were and what he liked best about them. Um, I play football and I bowl and I play baseball. Football, I like the contact, I like getting physical, <laughs> I like hitting guys. Um, bowling, it's one of, you know, one of my little recreations. I like knocking down the pins, you know, like bowling high scores. And uh, baseball is, is the one I, baseball is the one I like most. You know, because I, I can hit the ball and I like running and I catch some, some contact, you know. I like that. How do you think you'll do this year? Um, I'm not going to predict anything. I'm just going to, I'll predict something. I'll hit the ball. I'm going to hit the ball hard. <laughs> yeah. Lisa Morasti, not only a reporter for us on Sports Map, is involved heavily in the uh, athletic activities at Merced High School. She's a sophomore there, and she's on the varsity softball team. We asked her how she made it to that team. Well, it, it's the summer league travel team. The, it's a lot harder. It there's the competition's a lot harder. The pitching's a lot faster than school, and he just works us a lot harder. What kind of uh, games did you play during the summer? I mean, were they tough ones or? Oh yeah, we played college teams. Um, we went away to tournaments, and we played teams that go out of state to Oregon, Hawaii, places like that. Now that you have a couple of weeks of practice underneath uh, the team belt, what do you think your chances are for uh, going to the top of the league this year? I think it's pretty good. I think Atwater will be hard. Um, Bayer might be. I think we have a good chance at taking the CC. <laughs> <laughs> the youngest son, Craig, is involved in several sports as well. We asked him what those were. Bowling and baseball. Which one do you like better? I like baseball. Why is that? Because the action of the game and I like I like to hit the ball far and all that and just the action and stuff. Well, you play two positions for baseball. What are those? Pitching and outfield. And which of the two do you like better? I like pitching better because um, there's more action and the whole team is dependent on the pitcher and I like that. Well, how about bowling? What got you bowling? My dad, and I just like coming out here and bowling for the fun of it. All my friends come out here Saturday mornings come bowling for the fun. Do you think you'll ever bowl professionally? No. <laughs> no. Finally, we asked Norm what it was that made his family so athletically active. Well, first of all, there, uh, we, we all seem to be born with an uh, itch to move around, you know, and, and uh, do things. We, uh, we Marathi don't like to sit around. <laughs> and, of course, I uh, encourage the kids in um, uh, competitive sports, and uh, yet we try to have fun. Uh, uh, bowling is one of them. Uh, baseball, softball, football. Uh, my wife plays tennis, and she's a very good tennis player, and that goes all the way back to her high school days when uh, in uh, back in uh, the 60s uh, that was about the only sport a woman could um, varsity sport a woman could play they didn't have softball or volleyball uh, like we do today so uh, but we, we feel that um, uh, especially for the kids participating in any type of sport is uh, uh, might be better than something else they could do We'll be right back with our second top reformer presentation right after this word from Merced Nissan. If you'd like to avoid situations like this, you should know about the Nissan Sentra. It was rated the most trouble-free car in its class. That's because Nissan engineered the Sentra to provide one of the most basic things people want from a car, reliability. The Nissan Sentra, built for the most important race of all, the human race. Scott McKee got a sixth place finish in the Merced Criterium last Sunday. We're standing in front of the 1988 Sentra SE here at Merced Nissan to present this award. Scott, it was a good race. Uh, you said before we came on camera it was a little bit faster. Uh, what about that race? Uh, it was a good, fast race. Um, I, I was hopeful that I could have placed better than six, but I'm very happy with sixth place, and I look forward to doing much better in the races to come. Do you think it was a difference between uh, your jump from Category 4 to 3? Uh, I believe that, that the pack strength in general was probably as a faster race, but um, 
it's a different level of competition and it's it's pretty relative i guess all right well you did real well and uh the merced nissan sports map top performer certificate goes to you this week all right. thanks very much and keep up the good work all right Mark Tuttle was one of the coordinators for Valley Yosemite for the big races last weekend out in Snelling, the road race there, and the Merced Criterium held in downtown Merced.